Ryan. Wow, you're echoey. Yeah, oh wow. Oh, you know what? It's probably because of me. It's probably because of that setting that I told you about where I changed it to play through speakers and headset. No. <laughs> what the hell? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're echoing because of because of that setting I changed. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, so it's probably just uh, because I... Ch you remember I was telling you how I made it so that the audio plays through the headset and the TV? So it's very much possible. Yeah, yeah, it's just transmitting both of them to my headset. So. That's fine. I mean, it's not like... It, it's, I'm just, it's like hearing you and your clone talking at the same time. No, it's kind of cool. It's like... It's like if you were the clone, the clones in Star Wars, and there's just two of you talking at once. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to play Portal? <laughs> what were those things? Some sort of advanced defense AIs. Whoa. Related it's to working. the Sentinels, I'm guessing, but it's hard to say without a closer look. Come on, let's figure out where oh, that transit God. system dumped us. Yeah. yeah aiming's good, movement is awful, so that's okay. Deal with Put me in the console. That's what she said. <laughs> Where's Infinity? This is Requiem's core, all right. But Infinity is definitely not here. That satellite in the center is amplifying the ship's broadcasts like a relay. Maybe we can use it to respond. Perhaps. Those beams coming off it are creating the interference we've been experiencing. We'd have to take them out to contact Infinity. Can you get us there? Opening a gate to the first beam pylon. Pull me, and let's go. This is the first pylon? Negative. This is as close as I could get us. Hope you don't mind hoofing it a little. Contacts! Whoa! Ro robot doggies. And they're back! Coming down the walls!
Okay. Ah, uh, Those weren't the same things oh. we saw in the terminus. Similar cortical footprint as the tower oh. guys. They're connected, all right. Oh yeah, I could build the gun. Yeah, that's sick. Activity at the edge of our sensors. We're about to get busy. Yeah, it's a little better. <laughs> there's, a, there's a slight delay in my trigger pulls as well, so I'm missing. <laughs> I've discovered something interesting about our new friends. When the big ones explode, that momentary flash we're seeing is yeah. actually a data purge. Can you tap into it? So far, I've pulled multiple strings referring to the big ones as Promethean Knights. Beyond that, though, things get a bit dense. I tried to lead off my melee, it just didn't work. <laughs> Close to the pylon. Yeah. I tell you about my one friend, he, uh, First time I played through this game, uh, we played. I think we played it on normal. Or whatever. And uh, he always he said like I like using the suppressor. It's fun to suppress things. <laughs> yeah, like, I I don't think it meant like it, it meant anything other than like using this weapon. <laughs> Can be taken by the Yeah. It sounds cool.
you want to you wanna hear something really, like, anti-gamer <laughs> that uh, 343 recently introduced? So, this game, when you play online for, like, the past few months, it's been terrible. Like, there's, like, disconnects, and people you get paired with, like, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, in social matchmaking games, like, every team is just lopsided. Because it's not randomized, right? Like, social games should be randomized. What's that distortion? So whatever, for whatever reason, a few months ago they they made it so that oh, there's a terminal. That's yeah. me. Um, Something about moving through those portals is increasing the load on my systems. Are you? Hold off rampancy this long, haven't I? My love, put fear from your heart. Um, War is your realm, Dinah. Yeah, it's not mine. I, I'll, I'll tell you after this. this and you easier, march easier. to this war, facing foes that, while always aggressive, were never so aggressive as they are now. Your fears are unfounded. The enemy will be turned, <laughs> and I shall stand by your side once more. Promise me that. I promise you. Nothing will stand between us. Lord of Admirals, we are in position over the Forerunner planet. Show me. Population numbering over two billion. Forerunner ships on alert and in battle. Is it possible? Have we gotten ahead of it? Flood infestation detected, my lord. Damn it! My lord, the infestation is in a remote locale. Perhaps if we warn the Forerunners? If we warn them, we give the Flood time to spread. You know we have no choice. Cleanse the planet. I don't know if that... No, I was literally gonna say if that made no sense, like, don't worry, because they didn't do a very good job of giving you any background. So, the, you saw the Forerunners, and those were ancient humans. So, that's something new. But yeah, like, ancient humans were this spacefaring race. Chief, we won't be able to contact uh, it, It's a really interesting if we don't get story, to that but and take it down. you have to read, like, ex external material. Uh, so, for now, that basically the, for that cutscene, so ancient humans were this spacefaring race. And the flood and the forerunner, the two forerunners there, the librarian, the female, and the didact, the male. And so they were just talking about forerunner stuff. And then the humans encountered the forerunner planet, and they noticed the flood was there. So that's the target, but it the looks one like the entrance human issue. said we should warn the forerunner. Let's figure out and how so to take it down. And so the other, the leader, he said we can't. Like there's no time. And so they they started attacking the planet, not to hurt the forerunners, but to destroy the flood. And that eventually gets perceived as an attack by the former. And the first time I watched it, I'm like, what the hell? Like, what's going on? One of the shield's power cores. Take it out. Oh, yeah, so it's, it's classic Halo. It's really, really fun. Two more cores on but our level. Then, it's not like Hit them the old time the where you're just like thrown in. If you play ranks, you're, you're thrown in with people who are about the same rank as you. But socially, you're just thrown in on that. For whatever reason, they introduced skill based magic and social. So you have. Like, for me, like, I'm a. I played the game, so I know, like. I'm not the best, obviously, right? But. 
I'm good enough where I can hold my own. I have some like, really, really good games where I end up on the top of the leaderboard and so on. Uh, but I, so because of that, I regularly get paired with people who are new to the game, people who purposely play the game poorly. Like they go get like zero kills and like 15 deaths. Uh, or they just betray everyone. Oh, just to be a troll, right? Like, or they're just like wasting their time. So it's not like it's not very like it's not very sporting behavior. Well done, right? chief. One to go. Um, so that kind of sucks. Like, there's no fun in playing. Like, ranked is more laid back than social because of that. Because like, I literally have to go like 30 and five to make sure that we win. And I've had I've had magic. I'm not exaggerating. I've gone 30 and five, and we've lost by like 20. <laughs> so I, I get almost a third. It's it's a it's a it's a, it's a, it's a hundred, right? It's a hundred kills. I get thirty kills from the team, and we lose by by like twenty because everyone on my team just keeps dying and doesn't get any kills. And the other team. Yeah, but you're not like people, there's there's a difference, right? There's people who are. Like they may not Great, go like, have a positive KD Head or whatever, for the top of the pylon. But they're not like going all the point. They might go like you know, five and ten or whatever. Which is fine, like, that's not that's you're still like playing the game properly. Like, these people just run out of the open that kind of thing. And uh yeah, it is good frustrating. And so so more than that, so that gets frustrating too. At some point, I just quit, right? Because it's just frustrating. Uh, but to compound the issue, like, there have been so many crashes in, in every match, typically Halo 3, uh, over the past few months. And so you get. It, it's really good that there's, like, quit bans. Like, 343 implemented quit bans, which I really like. But the problem is that those quick bans only work if they, like, they're only fair if, the, if your game doesn't crash, right? Because a crash is registered as a quit. And so, instead of fixing these crashes and these, like, terrible teams, they double down on the quit bans. So for your first offense, it's 5 minutes. The second is 15, and then 30, and so on. So, but if you quit, so if you quit 6 times, or if you have, like, 6 crashes, you're banned for 16 hours. Which <laughs> is ridiculous. Yeah. And, and, and it's... I don't get it, man. Like, this is what I mean. Like, everyone's telling you, like, they'll do 10 good things and then, like, they'll come back with, like, 10 like, really, really dumb decisions. Like, this is it. Like, the MC... The, they did such a good job with this game when they, they they said, "Hey, we're gonna like fix this game." Like they added Halo Reach and like all these cosmetics they're and stuff. And in the they're past few months, they're orbit. like, "Hey, we've done too much good stuff. We need to shit on our game and and make it garbage." And so, like at this point, I'm just like, "Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother." Like I'll play Firefight because Firefight's different. But like I absolutely love PvP. Yeah, you don't have to worry about your teammates, so or as much. Yeah, and I I loved PVP so much, like Halo they PVP. Must have intercepted it's, our distress beacon. It's really fun, but the beacon was pulled in a like, Imagine like they like screwing something up so bad that you get caught take the enjoyment well. out of classic Halo PVP. <laughs> I'll keep right? trying like, to warn like the, them. You just the, get the, that One of the best down. examples of, of playing against other people. It's, so, it's like, until they fix it, I'm not going to bother playing online. Because I've, I've tried to ignore the <laughs> the frustration for too, like, too much, so... And I just got kicked out. <laughs> Shit like that. I got kicked out. Yeah. Uh, perhaps I can, because Halo 4 seems to have 
drop in, drop out. Yeah, no, it doesn't let me join. See, this is this is what I mean, right? Like, okay, none of the 360 games have these disconnects. No, I mean like specifically Halo. You know, like it it happens so rarely, and like when we were playing Halo 3, I think every every day there was one drop. Whatever, I won't let it bug me. Okay. Thanks. Oh, <laughs> uh, maybe it won't. Let's see. But it probably will. Yep. What <laughs> of things? course it did. Some sort of advanced defense uh. AIs. Related to the Sentinels, I'm guessing, but it's hard to say without a closer look. Come on, let's figure out where that transit system dumped us. Yep. Put me in the console. Almost definitely gonna crash. I... My f I'm, I'm moving, like, every half second. Where's Infinity? <laughs> this is Requiem's core, all right. But Infinity is definitely not here. That satellite in the center is amplifying the ship's broadcasts like a relay. Maybe we can use it to... <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> Those beams coming off it are creating the interference we've been experiencing. We'd have to take them out to contact Infinity. Yeah. Can you get us there? Opening a gate to the first beam pylon. Pull me, and let's go. <laughs> this is the first pylon? Negative. This is as close as I could get us. <laughs> Hope you don't mind hooking yeah, it a little. Yeah, not stuttering anymore. Contacts! Oh, wow. <laughs> it's so much better. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> and they're back! Coming down the walls! I like. <laughs> I'm assuming they're going get here. I like how you say that. Like, oh, I can't open this thing. <laughs> Those weren't the same things we saw in the terminals. Similar cortical footprint as the tower AI. They're connected, alright. Yeah. <laughs> we need more game sales. Love them. Similar phasing activity at the edge of our sensors. We're about to get busy. Discovered something interesting about our new friends. I love the way the air. When the big ones like... explode, that momentary flash we're seeing is actually a data purge. Can you tap into it? 
Yeah. <laughs> I pulled multiple yeah. strings referring to the big ones as Promethean Knights. Beyond that, though, things get a bit dense. Yeah. We are dependent. Oh, the DMR? Oh, yeah. So does the, the saw. There's a saw in this, which is just like a high capacity machine gun. And oh, that sounds that sounds great too. There's a lot of like really cool weapons in there. It doesn't sound that great from a distance. Like it sounds like someone like I don't know, hammering nails really fast from far away. But when you you as the user, that that much more. It sounds really good. The relay interference is increasing. We must be getting close to yeah. the pylon. <laughs> Distortion. That's me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Something about moving through those portals is increasing the load on my systems. Are you gonna be all right? Don't worry. I've held off rampancy this long, haven't I? So with the uh, you see so you see how the like the graphics in this are so much more detailed, right? Like there's. I mean, the art style is different, obviously, but the, just the details in terms of, like, the textures on Chief's hand. Really. So I think this was the first the game where they like did the detailed, like, Cortana's, Let's like, figure fingers out and toes and stuff. And so all the freaks on the internet got really excited about it. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, like, just disgusting. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I've ruined my time. One of the shield's power cores. Take it out. I read two more cores on our level. Hit them before you climb all the way up. Yeah, I think for campaign it's uh it's peer to peer. It's still not perfectly aligned, but I can't blame them too much for that, but like you can play on mine, so that's that's all. Awesome. <laughs> well done, Chief. Yeah. One to go. Yeah. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, yeah, but you know, you fixed your internet and stuff. I'm like, <laughs> literally, no other game does. <laughs> well, I've spent like hours making sure my internet works great. So I never ever have issues when I play. Heck, like, I don't even have problems with level 5. Level 5 is Yeah. 
Uh, the, the, st the story. Is, like, so the narration, you know, every so the, every story has, has like all the a course. plot, Head for and the then top like of the how it's narrated, right? The plot I thought was okay, but dude, the storytelling is just—it's it's really fun. I enjoyed playing it, but like, the storytelling aspect is so bad. Like they have, they have, they have like the dumbest lines, and for no like real good reason. Yeah, because it's from a time where people like, like Xbox One stuff was sort of like, you know, finding its stride. And like a lot of games were, were trying to emulate movies and stuff and trying to be like really cinematic. For but but like in every situation. <laughs> so <laughs> that kind of fell flat in its face because like when you're playing a game, you don't want to hear. You're not playing Rambo the movie. Right? <laughs> yeah, he just came out of there. Chief, look at this. <laughs> That's Requiem. Um, but yeah, like in They're campaign, like the, it, it, I enjoyed orbit. the campaign. Like it, the environments and stuff, they look so beautiful. And uh, like you have all these new abilities and stuff, uh, which are really fun. I think they're a bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like uh, it's it's any downsides like uh, it's Call of Duty. Which I didn't really mind. It's just the, like all the Spartan abilities and stuff. They were kind of a uh, the beacon was pulled away from with us. They try like to follow. Online, that's what I They'll get caught in the gravity well. I'll There's a lot of the maps were built You just get that yeah. beam down. That's the beam control. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I, I kind of like the idea. It's working. The signal from the relay is starting yeah. to clear up. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense, right? Like, you not like if you want people to be able to climb the cliffs. Haven't hit the gravity well yet. There's still too much interference to warn them. We've got to disable that other beam before they're pulled in like we were. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Oh. Uh, I was wondering why Infinity hadn't encountered the Covenant yet. What are they doing here? They're heading to the second pylon as well. That can't be a coincidence. Sounds like the Prometheans don't want the Covenant here either. The battle net's already lighting up with reports of resistance all around the pylon. Bless you. Oh yeah. Oh, you're right. Like, and uh, Tomb Raider had, like, they made Lara's primary weapon a bow and arrow too. Yeah. Drop pod. Yeah, I agree. And they made the bows really bad. It's like you could you could make your bow like so so sick. <laughs> so I really like it. And it, I I don't know. I figured it made, it made a lot of sense for like a scavenger type Lara prop to. Or not a scavenger, rather like a survivalist type of lot to have a bow and arrow. Yeah, I I mean I love those games so much. They're spectacular. Yeah. I 
think Bryce. Bryce is uh, the hardest one. I found because there's a lot to do. Uh, and like online is um, the online is actually quite challenging. Uh, you need one other person for for not everything, but for for a good chunk. But th there are some. Well, it's, it's, a, it's challenging, but also like not in the best way. Like there's one achievement where you have to basically survive in the wilderness for like two hours real time, and then uh, get get airlifted. Uh, but the hard part is not the two hours to survive. It's just when you initially get dropped off, that's a little hard just to find a good place to camp out. And then the hard part is after the two hours, you have to get airlifted because when you leave you might just get instantly killed <laughs> by a bear or something. Yeah. It's a uh, very minimal lag at this point, but when it fucks up, it's, yeah, it's just enough where you need to compensate. I really like how the, the ghost looks in, uh, in Halo 4, but especially Halo 5. The ghost looks just so bad. It sounds nice, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's... Yeah, like, Tokyo Drift takes place after Best of Fury 6. Okay, I'm lost. Oh, we started. Played this level, like, 50 times. Still get lost. <laughs> Breaking up a bit. We're almost to the beat. Yeah, and then and that's what I like about him. Like there's like the characters going to be right? Uh, and obviously it's focused around cars, so that's why I really like him. Oh well, walkers are good, so other reason. Um, and then we found the opening. Uh, like they're just fun movies. You know, like there's uh, they are the best action movies. Or some of the best are there because you know there's Terminator and things like that. But I love them just because they're they're just fun. Uh, fuck. Uh, fuck. Oh, gotcha. Hi bitch. Sorry, say that again? Power 
more down. Shield's weak. Still it hurts on. me to say it, but man, I can't Take out the really other two power cores there. and we can this access the pylon. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a... It's... I love Star Wars, right? But it has to be decisive. I figured the fast well, I kill faster I get it over with, the less it'll hurt. <laughs> Second power core offline. Good job, Chief. Yeah. Should be down. Yeah. Get up to that beam. <laughs> really don't like Tolkien. I think they do that to, to sort of push the message if it's not the, the destination that counts. Journey. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't know, to be fair, like, the books cover, like, I mean, there's a lot of material in the books that are like, Oh, you, that's the other thing, so you just saw how the Elite just, like, beat you up, and you didn't even have a chance to react. That's, uh, that's one of the other things about the Elite AI, I can't stand it. There's, uh, there's no chance for you to, to react to an attack. Like, when they go to melee, you're, you're, you're done. UNSC Infinity Survivor 400 is on. Reading a fake ISS tag near the planet Oh, yeah, that's, that's the other thing. The planet's core. They're more normal. Like, I'm, they know we're here. I'm Infinity, this is UNSC AI Cortana. Do not approach Forerunner Planet. Repeat, do not UNSC approach... UNSC Asset. Board on to dawn. We read you, but you're breaking up. Help. Increase speed by 27. Get us in there. Negative, Infinity. Do not enter the planet. If you can hear us, keep transmitting. No, Chief, you've got to get that beam down now. Just looking at me like, yes. <laughs> Yellow. We never know what's going on. See what happens. Cortana to infinity. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Wait, you died too? up to the relay satellite. <laughs> Already done. Go. Once we're on the satellite, there's bound to be a central control point. The Covenant are moving towards the relay, too. This doesn't make any sense. Why would they care about a rock? Dude, I can't. Relay? I don't know. <laughs> I'll handle them. Like, I, find us that I grew up with Harry Potter and then Star Wars or something. I got into the gravity well. A teenager. A minute or two max. The Covenant are making a push for something on the far side of the satellite. I, mean, I, I really don't know. I guess both would be equally... I'd, I'd be okay with both of them equally getting the X. Is that the signal relay? 
Yes, now we just have to hope we can use it to warn Infinity before it's too late. I would be equally disappointed <laughs> either of them getting canned. So I'd be equally okay with that. <laughs> Can't replay on Xbox One. Fist. That's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, something's not right. We don't have time. Infinity, this is Sierra Billers, 117 of the UNSC the forward unto dawn. Do you copy? Infinity, do you read? Chief? Chief, let go of the contacts. Find us an exit. Don't wait around on my account!
Okay. Sixth finger is, is, is really creepy. So fades the great harvest of my betrayer. Yeah, it's not even like a thumb. It's just kind of a dick, like another pinky. Even these beasts recognize what you were oblivious to, human. Your nobility has blinded you as ever. The librarian left Dude, little to chance the force. <laughs> Turning my own guardians, my own world, against me. But what hubris to believe she could protect her pets from me forever. <laughs> if you haven't mastered even these primitives, then man has not attained the mantle. Your ascendance may yet be prevented. Time was your ally, human. But now it has abandoned you. The foreigners have returned. This tomb is now yours.
entity has seized control of our ship. We're without power. We're on a collision course with an unidentified Forerunner planet. Track its descent. Marking. Impact predicted 77.8 kilometers due north. You know where he's heading. Same place we are. Stay low. Recon sortie heading this way. The ship looks intact. Something tells me that's only because the Didac wanted it that way. This is Lasky to UNSC Infinity. We're up to our next bad guys down here. Does anyone read? This is Sierra 117 of the UNSC Forward Under Dawn. We're on station, ready to assist. Negative copy. Sound like you said forward at the dawn. Come again. Signal's bouncing in and out. I can't clean it up. Light up their friend or foe tags. We're gonna need something to zero in on. I'm seeing numerous IFF tags. Painting the closest one on your side. Best not to go that, that way. Scan's the same one we saw on the <laughs> Except now, the Didact's free to handle it personally. We've lost contact with your phone. They must this not looks have so pretty. This distress call. Like this forest. Yeah. Yeah. One of them's an officer. Check his IFF tag. Oh, there's a DMR here. Yeah. The tag IDs him as Jimenez, Halo J. Then Lasky's still out there somewhere. Same gun in reach, but it doesn't sound as uh doesn't feel as But they changed it for five, which I didn't really understand. It doesn't sound bad in five. It sounds a little it Decided. 
This is what they've been using yeah. to see through the fog. Yeah. It's important. That's why Doom Eternal, or pardon me, Doom is just such a beloved game. The, everything just sounds awesome. Uh, so you know, uh, so, uh, Jason Jones, the head of uh, he is basically the head guy from Halo, and uh, Marty O'Donnell was the, was the one who worked all the magic for music and all that. There was, uh, I think, the Halo 2 documentary where Jason said, "Marty is." I'm paraphrasing. He said, "Marty is the guy who basically." Takes all our work and makes it twice as good. But I would never tell him that. <laughs> We've got another IFF on the far side of this thicket. He's been through here recently by the timestamp. As far as I can tell, we're moving into a choke point. This may end up as a dead end. <laughs> All right. or foe tag, but where's whoever it belongs to? Multiple IDs! Chief, they're friendlies! He's just like, you are you serious? <laughs> like, I, I came through here, you think First anything's off, alive? <laughs> Never thought I'd see you again. Seal her up! I thought you'd be taller. Ground forces are ordered to return to infinity immediately. Commander! Radio's hot! She's what? <laughs> Bond to come. On what frequency? What frequency, damn it? Infinity, this is Commander Lasky. The Hellkin recon teams are down. Repeat, all birds are down. We've got numerous casualties and require immediate assistance. Over. Finally. Did you get the coordinates of that gravity well? Affirmative, sir, but we're gonna need a bus out of here. Make it happen. You were sent on a scouting run in the middle of an attack on the ship. The captain thought Affinity could provide us cover and hold off the attack at the same time. Sir, we'll never get the wounded back to the ship on foot. I don't know if it's too soon to ask you for a favor, but... We're gonna run out of breathing room here real quick. I don't suppose you're any good at clearing LZs. On occasion. On occasion. I'll send out an all-clear <laughs> once the area is secured. Yeah. <laughs> A topographical scan of the area shows a break in the foliage oh, north of here. Should be big enough to bring okay. in a dropship for evac. Good 
This node is caught in a loop trying to access something it's calling the Domain. Lord of Andrews. An off-world data repository of some kind. So very so many years have we battled. Of the My finest lord. For investigation. The mantle accepts all who live fiercely, who defend their young, build and struggle. And even those who dominate, as humans have dominated, cruelly, without wisdom. But for all of us, I'm gonna go pee all this place. There is a time like this. And for you, that time is now. Know this, relentless enemy, killer of our children, Lord of Admirals. Soon we will face the enemy you have faced. And we are afraid. My life workers are investigating, but I believe the humans were never attacking us. Tell that to the millions of dead. The humans were acting as caretakers, pruning away planets so that this infection would not spread. They took the mantle of responsibility upon themselves, and in so doing, they brought this sickness to our shores. That uh, uh, that terminal, all our allies are killed. <laughs> oh, that's cool. There's a really hard, but Commander, really fun achievement. Right We're now. on our way. It's really hard, and sometimes it seems kind of cheap. <laughs> uh, you have to kind of rely on your allies on for being done. Uh, so there's a bit of BS, but it's uh, largely just on you being like, very aggressive and very, very... Uh, like, just prioritizing targets. So you have to save all the brains you start off with, and these four. Find some cover. Uh, next up, in this next set. On heroic. These teams won't last for long out here. Finding an LZ should be our top priority. Yeah. Oh, there's a there's a railgun thing. 
really good for taking out knights. If you wanted to know. Of course. <laughs> yeah, I can't even. It's not a good idea for me. These doors open into a cave system with a space large enough for an LZ. Hold them off long enough for me to open the doors! There's one achievement that's really buggy, but for ca as far as campaign goes, uh, really. It's for playing, um, winning a match of Warzone on all three original maps. But, you know, they never fixed it. So, um, it, it may not bug out for you, but it may bug out for you. It really depends. On what? I don't know. <laughs> The hatch of security was more difficult than I expected. It's all right. It's not all right. Nothing about it is all right. Knight! Wait, what's he doing? Covenant? You're working with the Prometheans? How quickly the Didact has unified these covenants.
Finally, the Didact has unified these covenants. Chap. Cortana Talaski, LZ is secured. Roger that, Cortana. I'll read the coordinates. Mayday, Mayday, code red. Hostile elements attempting to gain entrance to the Infinity Bridge. They're outside the hatch! Doors breach! Doors breach! All units return to Infinity immediately. That's an order. Chief, I'm redirecting the Spartan Force to Rally Point Alpha Sierra Foxtrot. Until we catch up, you have tactical command of the forward assault force. Rendezvous with those men and take back that ship. Yes, sir. Oh, <laughs> Alaski's like, Lasky dude. Out. All you. <laughs> this is Pelican I have something else to do. Thank goodness you're here. Look at that beauty. Contact. Weapons free, Chief. Let him have it! Alpha Bravo. Well done. We're good to go, Chief. You know these Spartans how it's done. Firing main So good. <laughs> 
<laughs> Commander, the hangar bay doors are sealed tight. Time to rejoin us. Sir, what's our status? That satellite took down the ship's defenses and is extracting data from the ship's mainframes as we speak. Can we break the connection? Main point of contacts on the ship's upper hull. The fastest route is through the maintenance causeway. There's a Mantis docked inside the door. Take it. You'll need the extra firepower. Oh, this is great. Okay, I'll go first. Come on, Ryan, do it. I'll get this out of here. The hatch is made to the longest out of here. First Let's thing. do something about it. Charge up shots uh, for a few minutes. I'm around. I, I uh, just went to a spot I've never gone to before.
Hey. You can teabag too. <laughs> that might be how they're blocking the Infinity's defenses. Magic's teabag is. We're on it, Commander. Cortana out. Yeah. the jammers three of them shoot them down yeah <laughs> not letting go without a fight. those things come from such a good good scene <laughs> it's possible that they're native to requiem or whatever this. counts as native for a forerunner ai we've never seen this type of offensive reaction from any of the other installations other installations mr lasky 
Infinity's mission has been to locate the remaining Halo rings and establish permanent bases to study them for decommission. We got locations up and running around installations five and three, but lately they've run into some setbacks. A science team got zapped excavating a Forerunner artifact. This sensor data is all that was left. Interesting. These symbols are a derivation of the Forerunner glyph system. And our geeks managed to pull some coordinates. I'll give you three guesses where it led. Sir, Gypsy Company is prepped and ready to roll on your orders. Thank you, Palmer. Mr. Lasky, you take point. I want boots on the ground in 60. Captain. This is a first contact scenario, Master Chief. Priority is to free Infinity from Requiem's gravity well and file a threat assessment back at Fleetcom. You mean we're leaving? Sir, Infinity drove the Didact back. He's vulnerable. He isn't the only one. You know, I think you, of all people, would appreciate the benefit of living to fight another day. Thinking of a different cutscene. This one is good too, but still. Comes later. The one I was talking about. My bad. <laughs> yeah. Ah, yes, my domain. Infinity to Gypsy Company? The air corridor to the gravity well is blocked by a network of particle cannons. Infinity shields are still down. Open the lane for us to move up and provide air support. Captain, what's Force Recon's assessment of the terrain? I know you've been off the field for a while, Master Chief, but this is a blow-through op. Sending in a recon would just slow us down. Telemetry indicates the particle cannons are being controlled from a command post southwest of our position. Roll on that target and neutralize those guns. We'll meet on the other side. We take the gravity well. Infinity out. I don't know about you, but I usually like a little more intel with my intel. We'll make it work. Chief, Spartan Sarah Palmer in Infinity CIC. Commander Lasky's waiting for you on the Mammoth. On our way. Okay. Chief, Spartan Sarah Palmer in Infinity CIC. Commander Lasky's waiting for you on the Mammoth. On our way.
<laughs> it was very hard to push you off the first time because when I pushed it, it just pushed you onto another ledge, and now I can't respawn where I'm supposed to. <laughs> Yep. I, uh, you see, look at where it respawned me. Look, look down. <laughs> it's, it's done this three times now. So I just have to like, kill myself and hope that I get a better spawn point. There we go. Okay. It's set. Oh, wait. No. But then I I just get to say, Ryan, it's Sunday. In a disapproving voice. Oh nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Someone's overcompensating. Papa Foxtrot 766 to Spartan Palmer. We're finally in the air. Master Chief, sir. The XO is looking for you up on the action deck. Oh, yeah. Hey! Read so much about you. Yeah, but still. Chief, unfortunately for us, we've got to manually bring down a couple of particle cannons before we can get to the command post. Chief, Palmer again. The Mammoth's got jetpacks on board. If I were down there, I'd want one. Uh, there's one here. Gypsy Company, this is oh, Captain yeah. Del Rio. The board is green. Let's shut down that gravity well so we can go home. Good hunting. Infinity out. Okay, Gypsy, time to work for it. Let's shake some dirt. Sorry, Targeting Mexican. pelicans are in position near the particle cannons, yeah. waiting for the mammoth's mini mac to take them well, out. Okay, I mean, pizza is technically Chinese, altitude. You're inside but like, the kill box. it's Italian, right? Got time. Yeah, Look, <laughs> it's Italian. <laughs> Can't get rid of pizza. It's like a staple. I strongly, I, I love how people sell you good cheap pizza. And I finally found one near here. And so for the Super Bowl I bought one. 
like a 20 inch barbecue pizza. Oh, that's great. Barbecue chicken pizza is fantastic. Right, Do you not like Man, barbecue chicken? About range. Okay. Man. Eyes up, Gypsy! Dropships on approach! Yeah. Barbecue There's sauce. There's Gypsy 7's Pelican out in the line. Are you still alive? We're here! You're alive! We've got the target designator! I'll get to them and retrieve the designator. Oh, you don't like pineapple? <laughs> <laughs> I really like it. Target acquired. Railgun reloading. Uh, yes. Call me that. The what? Oh, the two? Oh, whatever. Oh, you have to aim at that thing. Target acquired! It's kind of dumb that you need a target designator when you're on this huge piece of technology. And you can clearly see the target. <laughs> like, why can't you use, like, uh, the scope from a gun? You know? Last get to infinity. First contact cleared, but no joy on additional targets. Gypsy moving on to secondary battle position, but we're to evac casualties. I'm on it, Commander. Calm her out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And not the 2470s, the 1970s. <laughs> the hell is going on down there? More Covenant! God, yeah. That's stupid. Side of this canyon. I'm seeing three power sources. Shut them down so the mammoth can move through. Yeah. It, it's activism. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 dude, it's just shut-ins living on the internet with nothing better to do than like eat Doritos and type garbage. 
but I fucking hate people online. They're just unintelligent assholes. Good. Two more. Yeah. Great. Oh, did they, they, they get called like domestic violence or something? Yeah. Yeah. The abuser. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're not intelligent. They don't actually understand what a character is. <laughs> two for two, finish them off. It's like it's like you make a movie about Hitler and it's like, oh my god, this guy is an actor as Hitler. You know? Like, yes, that's that's the idea. <laughs> what else do you want him to do? He's not gonna be like Mother Teresa killing Jews, right? Like, that's not gonna make any sense. Yeah. Who are these directors? What are they thinking? It's it's like the people who also like they they get, they get pissed off when like black people get cast as slaves in a movie that is about slavery. Shield disabled. Right? Like Mammoth, the what is what the hell are you trying to say? Mammoth holding position. Whenever you're ready to proceed, chief. Yeah. This is I try not to get outraged by it because getting pissed at this is just unnecessary. There's a. Remember I told you about that comedian like smashing at his go? Oh shit, I'm gonna die. Oh my god. <laughs> the area we were in became a death barrier when you left. <laughs> I died. Yeah. I, what the hell is wrong with it? Yeah. No. I can boot you. It gave me a boot option. <laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> and, and subsequently boot yourself. Oh, you have to do your, your laser target thing. Yeah, anyway, there's Shots good. I got contact. All units, uh -huh. unidentified covenant vehicle incoming. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh yeah, the main inspection that is going I've been uh, watching since about well. I first Mammoth saw him won't in last long out in the open like that. We'll have to find uh, a way to keep the I covenant. He became off really them. big a couple of years ago, but he had this special. Stuff. Like, are you one of those guys that leaves like reviews on the about restaurants? And then he, he uses that as like a springboard to just talk about it, like actual fucking internet. And he goes like, it's, it's crazy times, man. Like before the internet, you had these weird people living in the basement. And they're just, you have to watch it, but he basically does like a caveman impression of someone who's just like crazy. Um, and he's like, you know, they're, they're sitting in their basement, just typing over, just doing nothing, and being like, Ugh. Ugh. And now you give it an outlet with the internet. <laughs> To ride it inside. Right. So I think Twitter's. Why did you get out? Drive me. Alright. Oh. 
we have to go up in there anyway, but... Uh... Alright, fuck it. <laughs> we have jetpacks. To the moon! Yeah, Twitter, Twitter's really good. I think I really like it for... Like, if I have to contact a business about something... Like, hey, you guys correctly charged me, or hey, I didn't get this discount, whatever. It's just things like that, right? It's, it's really useful for that. But it's uh, it's a terrible place to talk with other people. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's, it's just asshole. I mean, I don't engage in it. I just know what it, I'm just like aware of it. Because it's, uh, you know, life is not the game, you know? Just, it just breeds, like, sensitivity for things that just are inconsequential. Oh, you're good. So we had to blow up that- you have to, we had to go inside and destroy the ship's core. So I- I, I went- I accidentally went up in the grab lift. Uh, and then... Yeah, so I, I went up into it without, uh, like I was I was waiting, and then it just took me up inside, and, there well, and it started moving. So I'm like, well, there's no way for him to get here. <laughs> so, this is infinity. So Status. Mammoth's in pretty bad shape, sir. She'll make it to the objective as long as nobody starts throwing rocks at us. Not a chance we can take. I'm sending teams out to pull some of their fire off you, so you can make it to the gravity well. Roger that, sir. Gypsy, let's move. Shadow Company, Castle Company. Put some pressure on I'll the be right back. One second. Castle, reading 555. Five. On station, ready to assist. Shadow Actual to Infinity. Encountering enemy air. Significant EOF closer to the emplacements. Okay, folks. Terrain's too rough around these tributaries. Assault Force, back on the Mammoth. Anyone not on board is getting left behind. All right, sealing her up. Mammoth is mobile. They don't care about you. They replaced you. Blast it. It's okay. How? How is this okay? How is putting you at risk because I can't hold it together okay? understand what rampancy is? Really? We don't just shut down. Our cognitive processes begin dividing exponentially according to our total knowledge base. We literally think ourselves to death. You know I won't let that happen. And if it happens anyway? One one seven, Blasky. Go, Commander. We got significant blockage up ahead. I think this is about it for the Mammoth. The command post for the particle cannons is through that trench. <sighs> Sir, I can move faster alone. <laughs> we'll see you back on Infinity, Commander. <sighs> Lasky out. You want a sniper? <gasps> Do not insult the holy grail. <laughs> Heretic. Just 
watching and trying to figure out where to go. <laughs> it was just funny. <laughs> you know one of the greatest things I read on the internet was actually on Reddit incidentally. Like I think there's like site wide like guidelines, right? Each community has its own rules, but like Reddit has its own. And the best line is remember to heal it. Fucking hell. Uh where it's like just talk online and you like real thing. Yeah, and I find it's it's usually like Oh my god, uh, I forgot how many snipers there are. Usually people who are like all bark no bite. Who that's like that's like the one place where they can mouth off and not worry about getting their ass whooped. <laughs> No, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't understand. I don't get. Uh, I got what, what the what the joke was. I don't get why you guys. Cortana to infinity. We are entering the Forerunner structure. Breaking up, but coordinates received. Infinity. <laughs> should take us directly to the coordinates Infinity provided. You know what's fascinating is uh, like the police the have been banned from, wanted us uh, to get the particle cannons the offline. Wow, that's this a fast a elevator. You say that like there's a second uh, possibility? <laughs> uh, so one of the pride parades nearby. Not nearby, sorry, but in, in America somewhere. Uh, they've been banned from, from pride parade. Uh, I think they meant, like, the... 
I mean, I think it's more like the pol like a the police as an organization. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> There's that's just that's the other You've thing about the, you know, the, the whole this internet like thing. The right? There's most people you talk to, they're all about like. Hey, you know, the police are there to protect us. They should, and they should sort of be. They should have rules and guidelines that they should follow, just like everyone else. And that's it. Like that's their job, and you should respect them. There's nothing more complicated about that. And when they, when someone, when a cop does something wrong, you should, they should be held accountable. Um, and there's crazy people on either side on the internet, right? And then that's where you get all this crap on the news. Like, oh, this person said this and that and whatever, and oh, someone should be cancelled and yada yada yada. Cortana? No independent thought. It's... Cortana! Whatever you read on Twitter Cortana. or whatever. It's, it's fucking annoying. Man. I don't want to break my head over these things. What's the ACAB? Oh, yeah. Yeah, which is sort of the exact thing that they're that they're opposing, right? Which like you're saying, hey, cops are categorizing every so and so group as whatever it may be. So I don't get it. A very uh, long and complicated cutscene. <laughs> I needed my friend to explain it to me Who afterwards for like ten minutes. I have no idea what's happening. But sorry, I won't talk. Once known as the librarian. My memories will retain to assist humanity on their path to the mantle. Though sadly, that plan is now at risk. The didact is leaving Requiem. Soon. You must not allow it. Leaving? He seeks this. The composer. A device which will allow him to finally contain the greatest enemy ever faced by the Forerunners. You. Mankind spread into the stars with an unexpected desperate violence. Entire systems fell before the Didax warrior servants rose to halt the aggression. When the Didact finally exhausted the humans after a millennia, his sentence was severe. We had no way of knowing that the Forerunners not your only enemy. Humanity hadn't been expanding. They were running. Weakened from our conflict, we were no match for the parasite which pursued you. The Forerunners made plans for a final great journey, but the Didact refused to yield our mantle of responsibility. He would save all life in the galaxy at a cost. In the Forerunner's quest for transcendence, the Composer had been intended to bridge the organic and digital realms. It would have made us immortal. But its results soured. The stored personalities fragmented, and our attempts to return them to biological states created only abominations. Such moral concerns faded from the Didax.
the Prometheans. They're human. They were only the beginning. You would have encrypted your entire race if we had not removed the composer from his care and imprisoned him here. Reclaimer. When I indexed mankind for repopulation, I hid seeds from the didact. Seeds which would lead to an eventuality. Your physical evolution. Your combat skin. Even your Ancilla Cortana. You are the culmination of a thousand lifetimes of planning. Planning for what? He has found us. Even in death, her meddling continues. Reclaimer, the gene song I placed within you contains many gifts, including an immunity to the composer. But it must be unlocked. How? Relinquish your contact essence. Your evolutionary journey must be accelerated. Can I defeat the Didact without it? No. Then do it. Prepare. are all over the map. It's a long story, but I know what the didact's after. I know That's that part. Library. The librarian filled me in when she snatched me from the system. But what I don't know is what she did to you. Oh, uh, hang on, hang on. Ah, oh, fuck. It was upstairs. My mistake. Wait, wait, hang on. Don't leave yet. Never mind, go for it. Sorry. <laughs> there is there is one here and that uh, I think goes upstairs. Sierra one one seven to infinity. What's our status? Does Infinity have a shot on the gravity? What if we can spot the target for you with the laser designator? Do it! Take off! Find the chief coordinates for somewhere with line of sight!
No, I got hit by a raid. How much Infinity. longer We're at the gravity you? well. No, I have no Then paint that damn target so we can get out of here. You heard it, Chief. Line up the okay. shot. No, that's that works well. Should I end the level? Oh yeah, did you hear the guy the guy who voices ghost got cancelled? Infinity so. cannot handle yeah. that kind I of thing. Sorry, this is the good cutscene. Not again. This isn't about us or this ship anymore. Sir, we've seen what the Didact is capable of. If we let him leave this world, humanity will be at risk. Look. I understand what you think you saw. Think? With all due respect, sir, I know what I saw. And with all due respect to you, soldier, I'm not willing to jeopardize my ship because of the hallucinations of an aging Spartan and his malfunctioning AI. Sir, what if he's right? Nav, as soon as we know we're airtight, I want a course laid into Karanay Station. Come, prepare a warning beacon. I will not allow you to leave this planet! Cortana. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to do that. Commander Lasky. Pursuant to Article 55 of UNSC Regulation 12, 14572, I'm ordering you to remove that AI's data chip and retire it for final dispensation. I don't want to. You don't want me to. Remove Please. the chip now, Commander. Give me that chip. The didact has to be stopped. If you won't do that, I will. I am ordering you to surrender that AI! <laughs> no, sir. Lieutenant! Oh, Arrest no, that man. sir. Captain. Yeah. Arrest him! Captain! Get word to Earth that trouble is coming. Cortana and I will do what we can back here. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Del Rio. God, I hate him. <laughs> yeah. I can give you over 40,000 reasons why I know that sun isn't real. I know it because the emitter's Rayleigh effect is disproportionate to its suggested size. I know it because its stellar cycle is more symmetrical than that of an actual star. But for all that, 
I'll never actually know if it looks real. If it feels real. Before this is all over, promise me you'll figure out which one of us is the machine. So what's your plan? Infinity's tracked the Didax vessel to a docking structure southeast of here. We'll jump ship as Infinity exits the roof. You know, I was sent down here with orders to prevent you from leaving. In case you'd already gone, I took the precaution of ordering a Pelican. Outfitted for full combat pursuit. I hope to God you're wrong about that Forerunner. Or whatever he has, Chief. Ah, uh, Chief, why are you restraining me? Oh, man, there's Anything a clear hallway right there. I hope you don't run down and get into that Pelican. And Chief. <laughs> yeah. God <Good> damn it, Chief. <laughs> Both of you. <laughs> I love Lasky. Yeah. Come on, Chief. Take a girl for a ride. Ah, damn it! My feet seem to be taking me in the complete opposite direction as you. <laughs> How the hell do I stop this? <laughs> The Didact used this composer to create the Prometheans from ancient humans. If he wants to finish the job, he'll have to find it first. Our best bet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I won't be here. Yeah, I won't be here. Actually, maybe. We'll see. Yeah. Oh, sick. Yeah. A year. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, yeah. Spend the whole day, dude. Go to, like, three buffets. <laughs> Alright, yep, good night, Ryan. <laughs>